What we started to research is um, abrupt climate change. And we saw a paper by a gentleman named Schwartz that said he saw changes in all of the ocean basins fish populations occurring synchronously. And that started us at looking at how does the global wave pattern connect the ecosystems. So, so when I say atmospheric waves, I'm talking about areas of high and low pressure consistent with the high and low pressure systems you see in the evening news, not waves in the surface of the ocean. So the high and low pressure system have winds that go circulate in opposite directions. That causes the ocean temperatures to change. So winds that blow from the south with a low pressure system that tend to affect warm water. Winds that blow uh, counterclockwise, which is a high pressure system, tends to bring cold water out of the north-south. And so you see high and low temperatures depending on where you are relative to the high and low pressure systems. Certain fish are sensitive to the temperature because they require certain temperatures to spawn. So you see changes in the fish populations as a result of the changes in the ocean. By analyzing the data globally into the basic wave pattern, we can see that there are phase shifts in the long, longest waves. And those phase shifts rep represent very quick, abrupt changes, which means the winds change, the temperatures change, and so that's the signal that you have an abrupt change. 1977 is the biggest and the largest. We see another shift at 1989. We see another shift at 94. We see another one at 99. And so we're, we're looking at changes in the global wave pattern and are trying to understand how this is affecting climate and weather forecasting.